السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته ازيكم يا شباب عاملين ايه النهارده ان شاء الله اليوم الثاني من ليتس جو ليتس توك اباوت تشينج ايفنت ان شاء الله النهارده هنتكلم عن هاو تو بي ان انفلونس ليدر مع باشمهندسه ساره ان شاء الله أه بفكركم شباب لو حد عنده اي سؤال يقدر يحطه في الشات بوكس وهيبقى فيه فورم حضوره ان شاء الله في الاخر ويا شباب ما حدش يقلق من التفاعل خالص يعني يا ريت الناس كلها تتفاعل مش مدسرة معانا يعني بتتكلم انجليزي وعربي وفرنسي يعني الدنيا تمام يعني ما حدش يقلق فلو حد عايز يتكلم يقدر يعمل ريز هاند وانا هفتح له المايك ولو حد بره عايز يتفاعل برضه ممكن يتكلم في الشات بوكس يعني ما فيش اي مشكله انا عن نفسي هبدا بنفسي انا الاول محمد زكريا عضو في لجنه الاورجنايزيشن بتاعت بتاعت اس بي اي اس بي اي الازهر انا طالب في ثالثه بترول كليه هندسه جامعه الازهر وانا هدفي ان انا اقدر يعني اجمع معلومات كبيره عن مجال البترول عشان اقدر يعني او امسك بوزيشن كويس او الاقي شغل كويس ولو حصلت اي مشكله او اي حاجه في الفيلد او في او في الشغل عموما اقدر احلها فالدنيا سهله يا ريت كله يتفاعل يعني ما فيش اي مشكله تقدر تبدا بقى يا باشمهندس ان شاء الله Thank you so much for the introduction. And as he mentioned, you can always interact with me. And welcome to the second session about how to be an influence leader. البارح شفنا كيف يعني تعلمنا بعض المهارات عن communication, how to use non-verbal communication, يعني with our body language. And today we are going to see how to be an influence leader. كيف بنكون قائد مؤثر. كلمة مؤثر هي عندها عندها ضغط عندها قوة بالنسبة للليدر لأنه ما يقدر أنه يكون ليدر إذا لم يكن مؤثر كلمة تأثير عندها اهتمام عندها قوة as I mentioned and every leader should be influencing others to follow his path uh, so to start with today uh, yesterday we didn't uh, talk about uh, best qualities I want to break the ice يعني راح نكسر الجليد اليوم اذا في امكانيه ان كل شخص هنا على الشات يمكن يتحدث ولا يكتب على الشات the best quality that he has or she has and we can start with that and then we can move on to the presentation and i will tell you why راح اقول لكم لماذا يعني the best quality بعدين في اخر presentation and how this is more uh, how this is important so if you can just Try to type your best quality that you have. And after this, I'll submit to be a cool way. Had you come, had you can it, for example, good communicator. You can have a skill like graphic designer, for example. It doesn't matter. Just one quality that best describes you, and you feel more comfortable to have it. You can just start with the chat, and I will be pleased to hear from you and read your comments. Is that mumkin? تكتبوا أهم or the best أفضل uh, quality that you have راح أكون ممتنة لكم it will be break uh, or ice breaker today so please go ahead I will give you one minute or two minutes to start Okay, don't be shy. If you want, I can start first by saying that I am a persistent person. يعني شخص بيحب المتابرة وما بفقد الأمل حتى لو كان في يعني مليون شغلة لازم أعملها ما بفقد الأمل أبدا so I'm persistent and I just go through achieving my goals okay someone saying that he's open minded that's something good and good quality to have okay let's see with others programming Good. That's a skill that you will need in your job.
leadership. We will see. Yes, good. Ambitious, yeah. طموح هو شيء لازم يكون ولازم كل شخص فينا يتمتع به لأنه صح راح يعمل effect in our life. Good listener, yes, that's the best quality that every person should have. Mm -hmm. Optimistic, yes. So, you know how you are living in, let's say, in pink dreams. <laughs> That's something good to have. But sometimes you need to be more realistic person too. But I'm also optimistic person. And I love to, to like imagine everything that will go like in a good way. That's something good. Responsibility, Asmat, okay, Asmat. Time management. Yeah, thank you so much for mentioning that because we are going to talk about that later. Okay, so I don't want to go straight to talk about how to be an uh, influence leader, but I wanted to talk about networking. I wanted to talk about how to be a leader. We have to talk about networking. Sorry, it's something who was shay muhim kthir. So uh, with that, I wanted to ask you a few questions. And if possible, you can interact with me in the chat or you can open your mics as well and talk. It will be great. So I have some questions for you. And the bad asila huna. I want you to just, you can answer by one, uh, one word. It doesn't matter. Just give a quick answers and I will be, uh, ready to, to read your answers. So what networking means to you? Yani Shutani networking to each one of you here. And how and when you could interact with people? Yani imta kif yumkin The third question is how could you improve your networking skills? Yani kif yumkin networking and why we should network. Give me why. You can start with why. Why we should network. يعني ليش لازم إن إن نتواصل مع الأشخاص and we create a web or net that uh, we can use later on. So if you can uh, start answering these questions, and uh, if any of you wants to talk, as uh, Ahmed mentioned, you can just raise your hand, for example, and he will give you the the opportunity to talk. Don't be shy. We are just here to learn. And this is not a lecture, guys. So please just try to interact. I will give you another two minutes to answer a few of the questions, and then we can go and start answering them. Okay, I see so many people here. So if anyone wants to talk, please go ahead. Um, I guess we have a network or we communicate so we can share the information, express the needs that we have, and we try to develop social relationships, for example. Yes, exactly. I don't know what else we know. Okay, hello. And you mentioned social interaction. That's something very important. Yes, thank you for answering the question. It was an amazing answer. Let's see from the others. Can anyone relate to that answer and give uh, more information? Anyone? Okay, you are still shy. <laughs> Let's go next. Okay, how we are going to grow our network? And that's something, okay, to solving our problems that we encounter, exactly. So networking is uh, basically 
as mentioned, it's a net, and you can take advantage of that. For for example, someone just say and uh, solving our problems because other people can help you with that. And um, let me read this comment. Networking is very good in the company. It's neat. It's for anything you can do. Whatever. Yes, exactly. The personal brand. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, I mentioned that personal brand is something very important and we need to, to keep positive uh, personal brand about ourselves. So um, networking is basically a chance so we can have more opportunities in life. For example, if I am a person, let's say I am a petroleum geophysicist and uh, I want to um, do a PhD degree, for example, or I just wanted to go uh, to, to the US, someone just mentioned that uh, yesterday, and I have this from personal experience. Before, I didn't have any network to start with, and I started to volunteering with ACG, which is the Society of Exploration Geophysicists. And I can guarantee you that after that, today I have many people that I know, and it's a great way that guaranteed me more opportunities. I will give you the reason why. First of the thing, I had to travel to the US uh, because I want a program about leadership. And that's basically the, this is basically the presentation that I'm giving you. It was being inspired by, uh, by that uh, presentation in the US. It was from ACG and it was sponsored by Chevron. I hope uh, most of you here know uh, about Chevron. And the next year in 2019, because of my network, I knew people there and that uh, opened for me a new opportunity to be uh, a trainer with Exxon Mobile. So after that year, I won another uh, travel grant. I, I have been given the travel, like the airplane tickets, the hotel, everything. Uh, even the money to, to stay in the US to participate in geophysical events and training with Exxon Mobile with ACG. And that, as I mentioned, it opened like endless opportunities. I had to participate in ACG for program where I was able to use data for the first time with, with the, something related to geophysics. And today I am enrolling in a program with Baker Hughes uh, that comes uh, about uh, mentorship as well. So those were the first steps toward the, the person I am today. And that uh, basically invested majorly in, in my background and my personality as well. So this is why it's important because knowing people will help you to gain uh, endless opportunities. So how we want to develop this network by attending events. You can Basically, this is a way to uh, have good network. You can just meet people during the events. You can also involve in scientific clubs or organizations like volunteering, as I mentioned, or you can improve your soft skills by uh, easy to communicate. We learned yesterday about, and it's Alam al sorry, I get driven by the English. Alam al kif n'tamal, kif n'tawasil mal ashkhaz, and this, this is the key to help you to network. Because for example, if you are using LinkedIn to network, it's the first step, right? And uh, most people do wrong. And if you ask us, LinkedIn, is that they send them a message asking for a job. This is something major. This is something not good, especially if you don't know uh, with whom you are talking. Or uh, so if you don't see someone like on LinkedIn and just send them, an, let's say, an invitation or a way to connect, and then you send them a message to, to have a, a job, this is not something appropriate. So we want to avoid that. You can just basically try to connect with them. And if you have this home and actually at Hosbi home, fix a club, fix a Compliment what they have done. For example, if they have done so many great things in the past, you can just admire that and show that admi admission 
and tell them that you have done so many things, for example, in the past, I want to follow this path. Can you give me more advice about this area and this area? And they will be pleased to help you. Don't just go straight to ask jobs. And even though they will ask you some questions and you can answer them, by the way, uh, this with time maybe will uh, give you the opportunity to find a job. You know, it's always related to that. Okay, um, so it's a way to exchange with people in different aspects and backgrounds. And يعني في أمر لازم تعرفه إنه network مش لازم تكون عندها علاقة بس بالشغل اللي بتاعنا. For example, I am petroleum geophysicist. You are a geophysicist. You are a geologist, for example. Don't make your network just based on the area that you are in. You could have, let's say commercial people, you could have marketers, you could have uh, any person that you find, maybe you don't find it useful today, but you will find it in the future because they post jobs, they have so much information, they post advice, they post anything that's related to their job and you can benefit from that too. So as I mentioned, it comes with steps. You just go by, let's say baby steps, first steps, one, two, three, and you can achieve that at the end. So don't be afraid to take the first step. يعني ما تخافوا أنكم تخذوا الفرصة or الخطوة الأولى أنكم تتحدث مع الأشخاص لأنها صح هي فرصة راح توفر لكم مجموعة من يمكن الفرص اللي تخليكم excel in your in your background, for example. So this is something very important. Okay, now I have some questions about leadership. And Nagy, I believe he said that he is a leader. And I want to see that how much leader you are here. So uh, if you can respond, Yani, either you can come to the question, we can go quickly if you understand comments. Thanks for you. What leadership means to you? Again, uh, what are the best qualities? Leaders have some quality or great qualities. What to do to improve your leadership skills? And as this cat says, I think I'm ready to step out now. Stepping out from your shell it's something major, it's something substantial. And we all have been in an area that, uh, let's say we couldn't do things that we needed to do. So I want you to step out from that chair, step out from the box that you are putting yourself in. And just, you can answer this question and maybe Negi he will start with this first, uh, answering these questions, what leadership means to you and what are the best qualities leaders should have and uh, what to do to improve your leadership skills. Please, you can type in in the comments. I will be giving you two minutes to answer these questions and we can go ahead after that and explain more. Aya, don't be like this cat. Step out. Anyone who's ready to step out? No one. Come on. هو ممكن ال يعني الليدر يكون عنده مثلا ما يعني مثلا إنه يكون في رسبونس ولا عنده كويسة يعني قادر إنه يشيل مسؤولية التيم اللي معاه وفي نفس الوقت يعني مش 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 عارف أوصله بالضبط إنه هو يعني يقدر يقدر مش عارف يقدر يعني يمانج الدنيا كلها ويبقى متفاعل مع التيم يعني ما بقاش زي مثلا مدير مثلا بيتفاعل لوحده والتيم هو اللي شغال team working, uh, management. I think you mentioned something about balance. And if you, uh, you can manage everything uh, in your life, that's called balance between your professional and personal life. 
Okay, so I guess we can go further. So leadership, a person who leads. Okay, I see Luha commented. القيادة هي القدرة على تحمل المسؤولية واتخاذ القرارات الصائبة ومن أهم صفاته أن يكون سريع البديهة of course ومحبوب من الفريق exactly so leader and the word lead is basically to show the way يعني أنت تقول مجموعة من الأشخاص لازم أن أنك توريهم الطريق this is how leadership works you need to show them the way you need to drive people forward with the view to achieve a common goal. And that's what uh, you mentioned. Yani fi hadaf bil mishmu'a kullah. And a leader should be aware of this goal. Yani lazim anu ya'raf al hadaf lil mishmu'a kullah bishtagal alayh. Wa lazim anu yisa'ad fariqu yihaqqu hadaf al mishmu'a. Yani we all have personal uh, goals. Yani kul adna. أهداف شخصية بس أهداف المجموعة leader should be aware of that and should work on that with his team a leader who has a great personality and set of leadership skills they can make others want to follow his or her direction and that's what I meant by influence يعني مؤثر هو لو كان leader مؤثر لازم أنه يخلي الأشخاص اللي معاه يتبعوا طريقه لو كان مو مؤثر if you are and this is the the great thing about the difference between boss and leader because leader will inspire you leader will show you the way leader will influence your decisions as well يعني هو راح يأثر عليك راح يلهمك انك تتبع خطاه راح يلهمك انك تاخذ مسار النجاح but a boss he only cares about Let's say his goals. He set his goals, but he's not the person who inspires. يعني هو الشخص ما راح يلهمك أنك تعمل عشان تحقق هدف للمجموعة. This is the big difference. And the leader is the person who drives people. And probably you have heard this. يعني يمكن أنكم سمعتوا هذا من قبل. Leaders always. Try to uh, communicate with people. يعني كلهم يتواصلوا مع الأشخاص. Every day they mention the word we. يعني نحن. So this is a leader. And a boss always say I, you, and this. So this is the big difference. And that's our goal today. You need to be a leader. You need to inspire, motivate people to do a, a great job. And that's something very important that you need to to understand. Okay, the qualities that a good leader should have is honesty. لازم أنه يكون شخص صريح. لازم أنه يعرف كيف يتعامل مع الأشخاص اللي معاه. والصراحة هي أهم شيء. Forward looking. يعني he he set a goal. He knows his goal, and he know where he he should go to to achieve that goal. Inspiring. لازم يكون أنه ملهم. Compassionate. لازم أنه يعرف كيف يتعامل مع الشخصيات يعني يعرف كيف يكون عطوف يعرف كيف يكون متسامح broad minded like uh, someone mentioned open minded yes this is the best quality that the leader should have delegation لازم انه يقدر انه يحط شخص في مكانه اذا اذا كان في مشكله um, or he had to do other stuff so this is a leadership, a big leader. He should delegate people. And he should also know uh, which are, يعني الشخص المناسب في المكان المناسب. يعني إذا أنا, for example, uh, I was working a receptionist, يعني في الاستقبال in a hotel. If I don't know how to smile to people or I don't know how to communicate, يعني إذا ما كنتش أعرف كيف بتحدث مع الأشخاص اللي بيجوا, this means that there is something wrong with the leader who put me in this position. يعني لازم الليدر انه يعرف يختار كل شخصية حسب المهارة بتاعها ويحطها في كل مكان مناسب اللي تتبع هذه المهارات. Courageous لازم يكون شجاع. Uh, supportive لازم انه يدعم الأشخاص اللي معاه. Uh, strategic لازم يكون عنده استراتيجية في التعامل مع الضغوطات في التعامل مع let's say problems مشاكل. 
الكوميونيتي هي شود بي متواضع لازم يكون التواضع وهذا اهم شيء لانه از باس يو وون نيفر جيت ذيس هيوميتي سو التواضع هو اهم شيء اوكي سو ناو كويشن فور يو كان يو منشن ا ليدر ان يور لايف يعني رول مودر اور انسبايرينج بيرسون فور اكزامبل كان يو جست منشن ا بيرسون ذات maybe who have accomplished many things in life and you find it that he's very inspiring in a way يعني هو شخص ملهم بطريقه انك تخليك تحاول يعني تتجه لنفس المسار اللي تبعه هو and for me uh, i would say gandhi for one reason or maybe two reasons so gandhi who's a person who was able to Uh, create peace can can شخص اللي حاول انه يطبق السلام في مجموعه من الاشخاص and as i am as gandhi i am uh, emotional person i look out for our humanity يعني عندي انسانيه كثيره بالنسبه يعني يمكن لاشخاص اخرين and that's something that either passions they need supportive to other people and it's easy to and if possible you can just write in the comments any role model and uh, again i will be pleased to hear from you and for me a successful person lately يعني هو شخص جبتوه في المحاضرات بتاعكم كان عصام حقي ما شاء الله عليه He inspired me in a way that I didn't even uh, expect it to, to, to have him like this big inspiration. And you can just choose any person. Mom, for example. If you can just mention why you have chosen this person in particular. What is the quality that he has, and uh, that affected your life, for example? يعني ما هي الصفة اللي خلتك أنك تختار هذا الشخص؟ يوسري mentioned that my biggest sibling. Actually, I am inspired by her capability to manage life. Exactly, Elon Musk. Okay, that those are great leaders again, even if. Uh, she was your sister or your mother, as I mentioned. They have something in life that, or they have done something in life that probably you think that you can do. So this is inspiring in a way. Okay, let's see from others. And if you can mention the quality that they have too, that would be great. Hello, Mark. I have been reading about Elon Musk lately and <laughs> about his work, actually, not about his personality, but I can see that he has achieved many things in his life. Okay. Any others? Yes, our Prophet Muhammad is the best inspiring person in our life. Yo, you just. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> يعني أنت رحت على الطريق اللي. <laughs> uh, okay, we will talk about that. يعني you just took the surprising factors for today. Okay, so she's brave, patient, and very. Optimistic, however, bad decisions she faces a lot. Yeah, that's, I guess she's driver person. Yani, he is in the fair because we always, or maybe not patients, but uh, bad decisions or bad situations comes from driver people. <clears throat> How can choose our leader? It depends on you. It depends on, um, yeah, for example, if you are acquiring a skill, يعني أنت تبحث عن صفة محددة لازم أنك تحققها لازم تشوف الشخص اللي تمتع عليها شوف كيف uh, هو حقق النجاحات بتاعه depending on those skills 
uh, إذا كنت uh, for example I like Einstein and I just love the way he, he thinks I don't know how he thinks but he has made many great things when it comes to physics and most people they hate him for that but I do love him for that so it depends because I, I love physics I love mathematics I love science in general and I want to be related to uh, someone who has this a vision, you know, and Einstein is the best person that I can find, you know. Uh, so it depends on what your goals, what are the qualities that you want to acquire yourself, and that you uh, from that you can uh, select uh, or choose a leader. And basically, the leader should be a person who inspires you, even if you don't know it. For example, your mom; she managed everything in life. And And that's something inspiring. If you can see it inspiring, then uh, I don't know. It depends on you. Elon Musk is working for, for people. Now he's working to provide life in Mars. Yes. For me, this is something great. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's a good thing. It takes time to handle everything, you know, situation in life. And life is something that we cannot predict. Uh, I mean, we don't know uh, what what's going to happen tomorrow, you know. So that we cannot control for the moment. Never. Who inspires you must be why we improve. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I mentioned about inspiring. The person should inspire you in this way. Okay. Now we are going to talk about anonymous leader. Any shakhsiya ma rahakul huwiyabtaha. But you will see how this person he was able to achieve leadership in three um, levels. Oh, I know Muhammad Sarwat Hassan. Okay. That's something great to hear about. Uh, so this person was able to achieve leadership in three levels. Uh, there was uh, personal leadership, people uh, leadership, and task leadership. So I, I will try to give you these qualities, and you will try to find these people. يعني راح نعطيكم الصفات اللي كان هذا الشخص يتمتع بها وراح تحاولوا انكم تجدوا هذا الشخص اللي انا بحكي عليه اوكي سو ليدرشيب ليفلز هي واز ايبل تو از اي مانشن تو اشيف ليدرشيب ثرو ثري ليفلز سو وي هاف ذا بيجست سيركل از فور تاسك ليدرشيب يعني اللي عندها علاقه بالمهام فور اكزامبل بروبلم سولفينج ليتس سي تريننج اذرز Uh, responsibility, I believe. Yeah, uh, let's say delegation. So all these qualities are related to the task. يعني عندها علاقة بالمهام اللي شخص إنه يعملها في في الحياة بتاعه في الشغل بتاعه. And people leadership, it comes to motivating people. يعني عندها علاقة بالتأثير على الأشخاص. Inspiring. Uh, he's a great communicator. يعني في عنده صفات. And we tussle with with the work balance. Uh, so he was able to to manage to have uh, a balance between his personal life and his work. And lastly, is the personal leadership, which is something that uh, it depends on the person. So he was credible, honest people, and self-disciplined. Uh, And I don't know if you still get this person or not, but I want you to think through this personality. And um, I don't want to spoil it, but already someone spoiled it in the comments earlier. So this person was the greatest person in history. And if you can just mention his name, uh, that would be great. Do you still think about this person? And he was a great leader in the history, and he would 
great leader among other leaders in life. Someone, did you know him? Someone just spoiled that in the comments earlier. And if you just have a spoiling in the comments, I don't know if you, yes, exactly. Our Prophet Muhammad Ali Sallallahu So he is the greatest person in history. And not only are people acknowledge that, but even, uh, you know, foreign people, they acknowledge that Muhammad Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam can add on Shakhsiya fi Tariq. And if there are people here not uh, Arabic or not Arab people, uh, so if you want to read more about this person, you can just go with Google or try to, to find the Anisira Tibetiya Bitao. Oh, and there is a big difference when you read in Arabic and in English. Yani fi ikhtilaf kabir, like Aitam Haggi qal akhir marra. Fi ikhtilaf kabir, yani fi al kalam li biulu hina in Arabic and the thing they say in English. And I I do advise you to read about him in Arabic. Yani لازم إنكم تقرأوا عليه بال بالعربي لأنه إذا رحتوا you find an article about our prophet in English, you will find nonsense things and surprising things, even that you would think that he was a bad person. So you can read about him in Arabic, and I assure you it's the best thing that you can uh, read about. So thank you so much. Who's that? Khaddin for uh, mentioning our prophet Muhammad so I guess the time is consumed. One hour went very quickly. So uh, I have final advice for you or piece of advice. So your voice is the most uh, powerful asset. So you need to use it. You need to speak up. يعني لازم إنك تحكي ما ما في شيء غلط راح تقوله ما في أسئلة غبية زي ما في أشخاص بيفكروا ولا أسئلة ما عندها علاقة يعني لازم تحكي لازم and you just you want to learn so don't uh, try to put things that pulls you back put away any thoughts of timidity and negativity يعني ما تحط أي أفكار في في رأسك عندها علاقة how to يعني تكون خجول ولا عندك أفكار سلبية you should put that away because seriously it will affect your life and in the long term especially negativity and you should avoid that because it's something toxic. And I like someone who mentioned that he's very optimistic. And that's something that you should look out to. Um, now, request feedback and continue investing in yourself. And investing the world, it doesn't mean that you should invest in money. And you you should invest in a way that you can develop yourself have some trainings, attend some events, uh, do some researches, that depends on you. And as I heard lately, that if you, for example, you put thing in your mind and you study about it for like one hour a day, you will master that quality. You will uh, master uh, this, uh, for example, experience. You will have experience uh, out of that. If you want to be programmer, for example, just read about programming for one hour a day and it will help you tremendously. You can ask people, you can ask advice by, by networking as well. Focus on your strengths and your best qualities. مش لازم انك تهمل نقاط القوة بتاعك لازم انك تركز عليها هي ثاني and uh, as always if you have a weakness or you have multiple weakness يعني عندك بعض نقاط قوة مش لازم انك تنميهم كل uh, مرة واحدة يعني you take one at a time uh, always be compassionate with others حاول انك تكون شخص متفهم حاول انك تكون شخص uh, supportive, uh, متسامح, 
And this triggered my mind, especially when the last uh, session that I had uh, during an event, and there is one person who was talking about his manager, and he was getting late to work, you know, and it depends. So every time he used to go to work, he was being punished, or even verbally, and he was being punished why he was getting late. So as a leader, you should tolerate that. You should question why or what is the problem that uh, he's always being late. Maybe he has some issues. Maybe you can work with that too. Uh, and lastly, improve the skills. Uh, improving the skills will ultimately help you through your path. And even if you are choosing professional path or academic path, it will always pay off. So again, thank you so much for uh, the event today and thank you so much for your attention. I will leave you with these uh, two quotes about leadership. And uh, if you have any questions here, I will be pleased to answer. And again, don't be shy, we are learning. And there is no uh, wrong answer or stupid uh, question, sorry. So go ahead, if you have any questions, uh, if you need any advice, uh, if you want to network with me or communicate with me, you can always add me on LinkedIn. It's Sara Kilel, the same. And again, it will be something that we always try to improve, always try to invest yourself and develop yourself. Thank you so much again. اوكي شباب لو حد عنده اي سؤال يقدر يعمل ريز هاند وانا هفتح له المايك ولو في اي سؤال يا ريت حد يكتبه في الشات بوكس معاكم كومنتس Okay, thank you for that. I was trying to, to open my mic. So, okay. the best thing is to always be a leader because Shaksiyat Mudir can influence your uh, integrity and your trust with the people that you are working with. Uh, manager and uh, not a leader, this will affect you. And this will affect you. There are many conversations, especially with the people who work with them. If there is no trust, no trust between you and the people who work with you, so this will affect you. Meaning, people will make the work because of this thing. People will be able to do it because they will not be responsive. Meaning, they will not be responsive. إيجابيين في في طريقة الكلام معك. This will affect you. So being a leader and mastering all these skills will help you. And I will give you an example. I have been in a situation when I was working with a toxic person. He was my manager. He was so toxic. كان كان شخصية سامة يعني في درجة ما ما تقدرش تتوقعها. So he 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 never give like uh, let's say constructive feedback. So even if I was doing my job, in high standards, I'm not just saying that 
لهم كلمة أنا but I used to do it in a perfect way I helped the, the company to, to raise her, for example I helped the company to be well known with, with others and I was not being What led me to to leave the job? So I believe you should be a leader rather than being a boss. That's comfortable working with you because you can just be friends. It doesn't matter because some people, as I mentioned, Tawador, some people would say, "I'm a manager. I will not talk to you," and that's something very wrong. So. Being a leader is, is a must, uh, especially today. Yeah, that's what I was talking Leader, he's the person who inspires. He's the person to motivate people. He, he has so many qualities, but manager, yani, he, uh, I don't know how to say manager in Arabic, but uh, manager, he only manages things. If he has a problem, he manages that. He, if he uh, has people working with him, he manages that. That's what a manager is. If he has work, he manages that. But the leader, he's a person who inspires, who's a person who, who builds confidence and who builds trust between him and his team. So this is the big difference between a leader and manager. Thank you so much, everyone. هل تعبي الوجه في المواقف الصعبة والتصرفات الغاضبة نقطة ضعف الإنفوانسة. Yes, and that's um, that's what we talk about yesterday about facial expressions. يعني تعبي الوجه. You have bad reaction, for example, and that will be appearing on your face. يعني هاد الحاجة راح تظهر على وجه تاعك. And that's something you, you can change. You can just try to, I know it's hard to, to master at the beginning. يعني في أول المطاف يعني هي شخص شيء صعب بش, بش تواجهه بش تطوره. But you can always try to, uh, you know, be more positive. Even if people are talking in a bad way to you, just, the, you know, I always say in my mind, calm down, calm down. So this will help me to calm down because uh, I'll be quiet, I will be calm. And don't make any uh, responses while you are being angry and any decisions while you are being angry as well because uh, this could be uh, wrong and this will cost you a lot. So always uh, body language is important. Try to master that. As I mentioned yesterday, uh, it's 40% of the impact of your words. And it's something tremendous to, to work on. Is they, uh, I, I, I hope I responded to your question. Is they Oh, we talk about that. Okay, so he is not a good person, but he is a good person. Just, uh, I don't know how to say it. يعني حط رجليك في مية بردة يا عم شو راح تعمل. يعني you can always approach these people and try to, to talk about their behavior. Uh, talk about what, what they need to be done. The things that, uh, let's say, uh, he's more about uh, being, uh, let's say, experienced people, and he thinks that no one will uh, be able to follow him or be able to uh, get his uh, degree, for example. So just talk to him and just make him more comfortable to talk about himself or herself, it depends, and tell her if you can just help others. You know, يعني الأشخاص الغرورين المغرورين uh, هما أشخاص uh, يمكن أنك تحاول أنك تحكي معهم وتطلب مساعدة لأنهم يحبوا they they love being in a situation that they feel that they are high. 
يعني so try to approach them in that and don't show them that they are they have big ego because maybe with time they can change that uh, that quality yeah it's it's the same uh, i don't know where your question is uh, so as i mentioned it's a big difference when we are talking about the leader and the boss or manager because the qualities are not the same. If you are a boss, you are only pushing yourself, for example, to, to achieve that goal and not pushing your team in a correct way. And they, they achieve their goals or they accomplish it. So that's the big difference. كيف أن التفاخر دائما بالذات يراه الناس غرور رغم أن هذا شوف لذاتي على تحقيق تلك النجاحات وكيف تعامل؟ You can thank yourself by yourself. No one or no others wants to hear that. And if you have seen Dr. عصام حقي يعني صراحة هو شخص أكبر شخص متواضع اللي شفته في حياتي. Um, and I'm thankful to, to know him, you know, personally. And تفاخر مش يعني انك لازم تستحكي على الاشخاص اللي يكونوا معك انك عملت كذا وعملت كذا لا انت انت you are proud of yourself you are doing this for yourself not for others not to show off so you you should just change your behavior and if you are doing you are doing it for yourself so it's not يعني هو مش غرور if you are doing it for yourself but if you are doing it and try to show off uh, among people, so that's horror. That's 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 what's the big difference. Yeah, you can always uh, accomplish, uh, you know, your goals and be in a success successful way. Sorry, but you should deal with it in a way that helps you be proud of yourself. But internally, you don't have to show that to people, and that's the big difference between any horror with tafakhur. تفاخر يعني لو كنت خلي الناس هي تحكي عليك مش انت بتروح تقول انا عملت كذا وعملت كذا you see the difference okay i don't know if i responded to all the questions and if they were very satisfied with the answer but still thank you so much and if you have any more questions you can just send me here or you can send me linkedin um, I have great work uh, network. Maybe this will help you in the future as well. Thank you, Sarah, for this great session. Keep it up. You are very welcome. Hey, okay, thank you, Engineer Sarah, for your time. And thank you very much for this informative session. Yani, Sharha, mashallah, wafi, giddin, yani, wa amlin, nah, mshuf, hadrutik, yani, fi bintat, tani, amana, lao, hadrutik, lao, wata, hadrutik, yes, mahtabhan, yani. يس ان شاء الله يا رب يعني ما في مشكله اذا تحتاجوا اي شيء حتى لو خصوص اي نصيحه او اي عمل اي شيء يعني اقدر اني بساعدكم يو كان اولويز ريتش مي ثانك يو سو ماتش اجين ثانك يو